Now let's get into the standard of India S20. India S20 discusses about government grants and government assistance. While government grants should be accounted for, government assistance should be disclosed. Only disclosure is necessary. First of all, what is a government grant and what is a government assistance? Government grant is specifically available to an enterprise. It is particularly given to a particular enterprise. And these are grants which are given either in monetary nature, cash or non-monetary nature in the form of a kind. Let's say uh, the government as a program, I have set up a plant for, uh, you know, waste management plant. An e-waste management plant was set up. So this e-waste recycling plant which I have set up, the government said they will give me 40% of the machinery cost or setup cost which will be reimbursed. IKEA, which was set up in Hyderabad, Telangana government has given them 50% of whatever is the cost of setting up IKEA there. So could be with respect to the land, with also could be with respect to the construction, everything they reimburse 50%. These are monetary grants, non-monetary grants. ICA has been allotted a land in financial district of Hyderabad at free of cost. So that is a non-monetary grant. That means a piece of land has been allotted towards ICA. So these are non-monetary or monetary grants which are available or which are given particularly to a enterprise. It was given to ICA, not to any other organization. This benefit was given to IKEA and not to anyone else. So these are specific to an enterprise which are called as government grants. But government assistance is not of any particular nature. It is given to a class of particular uh, uh, to a class of enterprises. Let's say, for example, a pharma hub was set up by a state government. As a part of setting up pharma hub, they have also provided a sewage treatment plant, which is run by the government and managed by the government. That sewage treatment plant is available to be used by every enterprise which is established or set up in that pharma hub. So, what happened? It is a government assistance, no government grant is involved. So treatment of sewage, which is directly connect to a, connected to a sewage treatment plant, which is managed and set up by the government is a pure form of government assistance. This kind of government assistance has to be disclosed, has to be only disclosed. Clear? Now, what are these government grants? How do I account for it? And what is a government assistance? And what are the disclosures which are necessary? is what we have to discuss. First, let us understand what is a government. Government refers to a state government or a central government or a local body or a international body. So it refers to any government agency as well. So government refers to government, state government or central government, government agencies and similar local bodies or national or international bodies. What is a government assistance? It is an action by the government designed to provide specific economic benefits to an entity or a range of entities qualifying a certain criteria. So certain criteria if it is satisfied to this enterprise or to any other group of enterprises, if I make certain government assistance available, that should be considered as government assistance. Now, how do I recognize a government grant? I will recognize a government grant when it is reasonably certain. I will recognize a government grant when it is reasonably certain, what is reasonably certain that I will receive the grant and the conditions attached to the grant are complied with. The entity will comply with all the conditions attached to the grant and the grant will be received. If this is reasonably certain, then you can start recognizing the government grant. Let's say the government has given a piece of land as a non-monetary grant to us. Put a condition saying that for the next 10 years, all the semi-skilled and unskilled workers, 70% should be given to the local people. So therefore, it is reasonably certain that the enterprise will satisfy this criteria of giving semi-skilled and unskilled jobs only to the local people. If it is reasonably certain that the grant will be received, then you can recognize the grant. There are two types of accounting approaches in a government grant. However, only one approach is, uh, is, governed, is actually given by your India S20. This approach is called as income approach. What is income approach? According to income approach, 
any government grant received should be transferred to PNL proportionately over the period for which the conditions attached to the grant are expected to be satisfied. You need to provide employment of skilled and unskilled workers of at least 70% of total workforce to the local people for the next 10 years. Therefore, whatever government grant I received, I will allocate it to PNL proportionately to the credit of PNL over the next 10 years. So, I will proportionately allocate the government grant received to the credit of PNL for the period over which the conditions attached to the grant are expected to be satisfied. What is a capital approach? Directly, the grant can be credited to capital reserve. This approach is not recognized by India S20. India S20 completely revolves around the concept of income approach itself. So, credit the PNL proportionately over the period for which the conditions attached to the grant are expected to be satisfied. Recognition of government grant, like I told you, when it is reasonably certain that the enterprise will comply with the conditions attached to the grant and the grant is receivable. And it is reasonably assured that the grant will be received. Now, what if I have received a grant for past compliance? That means I have already complied with the conditions and as a resultant of the past compliance, I am receiving a grant today. If you have given a, an employment to the local people for 70%, of unskilled and semi-skilled laborer, then you are entitled to a grant on today's date. So therefore, this grant is a result of past compliance. In such cases, an entire amount of grant should be credited to PNL. However, by crediting it to PNL, you are also supposed to give a disclosure saying that the expenditure to meet the uh, to comply with the conditions of the grant was already met in the past and was already debited to the PNL. Clear? This is also income approach. Because what is the income approach saying? Credit the PNL proportionately over the period for which the conditions attached to the grant are expected to be satisfied. Conditions attached to the grant are already satisfied and now I am receiving the grant. In such case, directly credit it to the PNL but also disclose the, state, the fact that the expenditure for satisfying the conditions attached to the grant were already debited to PNL earlier. Clear? What is this concept of forgivable loan? Forgivable loans means simple logic. Loan waiver scheme. Always a very famous election slogan given by most political parties is your forgivable loan. A forgivable loan means a particular loan will be waived off if certain conditions are met. If I am recognized as a small and medium enterprise and if my loan outstanding is less than 10 lakhs, then the loan will be waived off. So, or sometimes where there could be a concessional loan as well. But first looking at the forgivable loan, I will recognize the loan outstanding as an income in the PNL if the conditions attached to the grant are already met. So, whatever is the loan outstanding, that loan outstanding amount, I will directly put it to the PNL if the conditions attached to the loan waiver have been met. What if the loan is granted at concessional rate? Is there a government grant even in this? Market rate of a loan is 12%. Government is giving you loan under NABARD for agricultural purposes at only 4%. Then there is an 8% of discount. So this 8% of discount should also be recognized as government grant. Then what is a government grant? The government grant is equal to the amount of the loan minus the loan measured at effective interest rate. Now can you give me an example regarding this? Check here. If the loan granted is 1 lakh and the market rate of interest is 10% while I was granted a concessional rate of interest at only 5%. This amount is repayable after 5 years at the end uh, with interest payable at the end of each year. So each year 5% on 1 lakh is 5000. You discount it using present value factors at 10%. At the end of 5th year I will pay out 1 lakh which also you discount it at 10%. If you identify like this, the loan valued at effective interest rate is only 80,950. But what is the actual loan granted? 1 lakh. So 1 lakh minus 80,950, 19,050 rupees shall be considered as government grant as a consequence of loan offered at concessional rate. So whenever loan is offered at a concessional rate of interest, 
that is lower than the market rate of interest, the amount of government grant is equal to the amount of loan minus the loan amount measured at effective interest rate. This 19,050 rupees of government grant should be allocated to the credit of PNL over five years. That is a period for which the loan shall be repaid. Clear? Non-monetary grant. After initially when the Companies Act has come in and when India's was introduced, there was only one single treatment of government grant which is given in non-monetary nature. Non-monetary grants should always be measured at fair value. The asset given free of cost should be measured at fair value and the credit should be given to deferred government grant account. This asset measured at fair value should be depreciated and this deferred government grant account should be credited to PNL over the useful life of the asset. Clear? This is called as income approach in alternate one. But subsequently, the company's India's Amendment Rules 2018 came in. When 2018 Amendment came in, starting from 1st April 2018 onwards, there is a second alternative which is proposed, where it says, grant received can be reduced from the value of the asset. If the asset is given free of cost, then the asset can be measured at nominal value. So this alternate 2 has emerged only from 1st April 2018. It did not appear before 2018. Until 2018, we had only one way of accounting for it. The asset should be measured at fair value and the government grant should be credited to deferred government grant account. This deferred government grant kept on crediting to PNL over the estimated useful life of the asset. But when alternative 2 came in, in 2018 on 1st April 2018 onwards, he said alternatively you can take another approach where he says you can directly reduce the amount of grant from the value of the asset or if the asset is given free of cost, recognize the asset at nominal value. This is the only change which happened in government grants India S20 as on 1st April 2018 due to a change or an amendment in companies India's rules amendment 2018. Remember this amendment very carefully because this amendment has already been tested once. Presentation of government grants. An asset which has received a, uh, a government grant is received against an asset. There is no distinction. I'll show such asset along with other assets for which there is no government grant received. As far as deferred government grant is concerned, I'll have to present it under current as well as non-current liability. To the extent I will recognize in PNL in the next year or in the next 12 months, I'll recognize it as current liability. To the extent it will reverse after 12 months, I'll recognize it as non-current liability. In PNL, either the government can, can be credited to PNL or can be reduced from relevant expense. Whenever there is a refund of government grant, why does the refund of government grant arise? Because the conditions attached to the grant are not fulfilled. If the enterprise failed to meet the conditions attached to the grant, the grant received initially will be refundable. Whenever there is a refund of a government grant, then in such cases, something should be debited, but credit should be to bank. Now, what should be debited? To the extent I have a deferred government grant as a liability, to that extent, reduce the deferred government grant account. If there is further more of refund, refund is 100 rupees, deferred government grant account is only 60. So, deferred government grant account 60. PNL 40 to bank. Now question comes up, sir, why PNL? Why PNL? Because remember, deferred government grant was earlier credited to PNL. But now when there is a refund of grant, I'll have to debit the PNL. Clear? So reduce the debit the deferred government grant account to the extent it is available. Balance if a refund you need, then make sure that you debit the PNL. What is government assistance? The inflow of assistance which cannot be measured in monetary terms. I'm not able to measure it in money terms. I just received it free of cost, so I'm using it. What is the value of it? I have no idea. Pipeline was already laid down for sewage treatment. I've attached my, uh, my uh, drainage pipe to that and I kept on sending it. So sewage treatment plant was provided by the government. What is the monetary benefit? I have no idea. Such items will be categorized as government assistance. Such government assistance should be provided either to the enterprise specifically or to a group of enterprise to which it belongs. 
any enterprise setup in the pharma hub is entitled to use the facility of sewage treatment plant may not be specific to your enterprise but is specific to all other enterprises which are established in the pharma hub any enterprise which is set up outside the pharma hub is not eligible to take the benefit of this general public infrastructure like roads being laid electricity being provided water connections being given these cannot be considered as government assistance here where should i disclose notes to accounts what should i disclose what is the nature of government assistance we have received how much extent you receive and what is the duration for which the government assistance is available nature of government assistance sewage treatment plant extent of government assistance so many metric tons of sewage has been treated by the government grant by the government uh, sewage treatment plant free of cost what is the duration it is available for the next 33 years of lease this is called as government assistance disclosure government assistance is where the inflow cannot be measured in monetary terms no money terms it is specifically provided to me my enterprise or to a group of enterprises to which i belong to it is not general public infrastructure general public infrastructure like roads electricity are not considered as government grant and that will bring us to the end of discussion on this standard which deals with government grants under india's 20